from the Mercy One Studio. Talking about the things that matter most to you. Today's Catholic Women. Catholic Women Now with Julie Nelson and Chris McGruder is underwritten by Farm Bureau agent Cindy Schulte, a licensed representative of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Iowa, cindyschulte.com, and Fred Haas. Over 30 years helping injured Iowans recover losses from accidents and work-related injuries. Fred Double D, Haas Double A. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Catholic Women Now. I'm Julie Nelson. Good morning. I'm Chris Magruder. And welcome to the Catholic Women Coffee Table this morning. And we've got a great guest here joining us in studio today. It is Colleen Scariano and Deanne Miller, and they are the founders of Soul Corps. And Soul Corps is coming to Des Moines. Actually, Soul Corps is here in the house. <laughs> it is. She's, Soul Corps is in the house and will be in the house also at Sacred Heart at the Ladies' Luncheon, and then tonight at Happy Hour. Happy Hour also at Sacred Heart with Mass starting at 530. The lunch Luncheon is sold out. If anybody's thinking they can try to come, it's sold out. So, so then you got to listen now or listen. go to the happy hour tonight. Yes, come to the happy hour. It's wonderful. So we're so excited to have them in studio with us today. It so let's be begin awesome. with prayer. In the name in of the, the Father, Father, and the Son, Son and, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, sinners, now and at the the hour of our death. death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey, anybody want to talk back to us? We want to hear from you. We have a text line. You can text in any questions and your thoughts today. 515-223-1150 is how you can reach us. Talk to us. And again, the ladies are in studio, so send us your text. That would be uh, be fun to to hear from all of you listeners. We want to talk about the fifth annual Men's Steg is coming up, sponsored by Light Edge Solutions. It's Wednesday night, September 18th, at the County Barn in DeSoto from 5 to 9. Also, we got the Women's Conference Equal coming. opportunity here at Iowa yeah, Catholic that's Radio. that's right. That's <laughs> right. Yes. Nothing gets by us, right? <laughs> so we have uh, the Women's L- Conference coming up with the theme of Soul of the Matter. It's on November 2nd mm-hmm. at uh, St. Francis Catholic Church in West Des Moines. And we've got some great headliners for that. We have Father Wade Menezes. From EWTN, Sonia Corbett, who's been on our show. And, and we'll have Susan her. Tassoni. Well, Susan Tassoni, how can you she, not forget her? She's oh, the purgatory goodness, lady. The purgatory lady. She's a hoot. Matter of fact, they talked to her. On, well, they, they did a little clip with her on John's show this morning. And we're going to have her. all these uh, speakers on our show in October so you can get a taste and preview of what, what to expect on November 2nd at the Women's Conference. You won't want to miss that. That'll be fun. And then we also on December 7th have Father John Ricardo coming to Des Moines. That's and right. And we have already sold a thousand tickets. That's wonderful. So yeah, and so we've got a few months left here still, but um, he's coming and we still have 2,000 tickets to sell. So we can do sign it. Sign up your friends and family, bring them, and God willing, the... Uh, Veil Removed will be publicly premiered that night, too. So we'd love to have all of you out there to hear us and bring, seriously, bring your family and friends. So it will be a night that will be worth We bought being. two k- tickets for our non-Catholic friends, so we're bringing well, good friends. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. I, I did mean. that, too, just assuming that people, you know, yeah. I need to have a few extra tickets for friends. So yeah, it's good to have those, right? <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. Right. And well, thank you to Cindy Schulte of Farm Bureau Financial Services for underwriting our show, Catholic Women Now. She is an authorized independent agent. She and her team provide health insurance options from Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield. She just does a great job of helping people out to understand their insurance needs and making uh, help it, helping those of us who need to hear it in lay terms. So you can find her, and she can help you through all stages of life at cindyschulte.com or by calling 515 515- Two two six two one one one. Well, I love this time of year. I love fall, but mostly I love September because there's so many liturgical celebrations that are happening in the church um, throughout the whole September. And one is this Sunday. Sunday Mass takes precedence, right? But Sunday is uh, September 8th, which is what we celebrate in the church, the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary or the birth of Mary. So I just we just dug up a few facts just to share with everybody. Kind of, yes. I was curious to know, when did this tradition start in the mm-hmm. church? It mm-hmm. actually goes back to the 6th century, and it was chosen because at that time the Eastern Church began its church year in September, and it actually does map out nine months from December 8th of the Feast of and, the Magdalene Conception. Not necess- that's not necessarily in Scripture, but it does come, pro- come from the Pro-Evangelium of James. Which you can find online, mm-hmm. and it's a good read. Mm-hmm. It gives a lot of background to that. So. Yeah, so you know what? Being consecrated to Mary, that's really meaningful to me now. Yeah. 
It's, yeah. you know, I, it's, you feel, once you're consecrated to her, you really feel her power of prayer working for you Isn't that right? regularly. We're doing the 33 days at Sacred Heart. We just started this Well, week. now you've done it like three times, haven't you? This, this is, is my like, third time. Yeah, okay. Yeah, leading a group through, yeah. Okay, yeah. good yeah. for you. Good yeah, for you. Yeah, I need it. <laughs> I need it. Come on. We all need her prayer. It's not that I'm we so wonderful. Need it's prayer. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we're excited to have, join us today in the studio is Colleen Scariano and Deanne Miller. They are the founders of Soul Corps, and Soul Corps is coming to Des Moines. Welcome, ladies, to Catholic Women Now on the coffee table here. Good morning. Thank you so much for having us here. Yeah, thanks, Colleen. It's so good to be together with you. You uh, know, it's funny because I'm sure you're not sisters, but you look like you could be sisters. <laughs> we're soul sisters. We do <laughs> always say that. Yeah, we say we're soul sisters. Soul sisters. People <laughs> do often ask that. Are you guys sisters? Uh-huh. 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 Soul Corps, if, you're, if you are not planning to come to the ladies' luncheon and can't make it today, which is a free luncheon, too bad, ladies, but... But um, also, you can come tonight and hear them at happy hour. But at Sacred Heart Church. Yes, thank you. At 7 o'clock, correct? Uh, the Mass is at 5.30. 5.30. And 6.15, I believe, is when yeah. they go on. And yeah. I better know that because I'm, I'm just coming. giving communion. So. Yeah, oh, that's good. <laughs> well, just tell us a little bit, what was briefly, what was the inspiration for the founding of Soul Corps? There's always a great story behind these missions and ministries. Well, for those who don't know, Soul Corps is an apostolate that combines the prayers of the rosary with physical um, exercise movements and really just full body strengthening. And it's really prayer-focused all the time. And so, but the the inspiration behind Soul Corps really came um, after some tragedy in, in my own life and um, kind of the journey of my grief journey and then through the Lord, the healing journey um, after that time. And so um, what happened for me was I, I grew up in a lively Irish Catholic family, always had um, a strong Catholic faith. Um, and I always had a reverence for Our Lady, but I wouldn't say that I had a relationship with Our Lady like um as my mother, it was more of like a reverence. And so, um, in, you know, a few years ago, suddenly my mom passed away. And Mm -hmm. then just two short months after that, my dad and my brother passed away in an accident together. Mm -hmm. And so, as you can imagine, it was a time of really tremendous grief and, and pain for our family. And so the beautiful thing that happened during that time though, is that, um, I really, through that suffering, really surrendered myself more fully to the Lord. And I think I, even though always having a Catholic faith, I think when you're really brought to your knees like that and in that kind of pain, um, for the first time I felt like I can't get through this alone. I really need God's help. And so it brought me to this deeper place of full surrender. And through that, um, the Lord just came into my life and helped me so much along that journey of healing. But um, my brother, who is a priest, actually encouraged me to turn to the Blessed Mother um, for help, for her intercession, for her prayers um, during that time. And so I really started to do that, and I began to pray the rosary more. And um, I found the rosary to be such a gift of peace and of healing during that during that time. And I also started exercising during that time. I started to run, to run which, you know, grief takes a physical toll on the body. Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. that that was also helpful to me from a physical sense. And so as a busy mom, I started to pray the rosary and run together. And um, the combination was just so beautiful. I felt like the times that I was on a run and praying the rosary, I connected. They were really beautiful times of prayer. And I think some of that was just being out away from distractions. But what I found was the physical movement of the body. I was breathing heavy, so I couldn't actually say the rosary, recite the words. So I mentally went through the words and prayers of the rosary. And I found just a deeper connection to that um, during that time. And so then someone challenged me to do a 54-day rosary novena. Oh, um, gosh. Which was a big... It's a marathon is a marathon commitment, but it has amazing graces through that. And, um, and so I accepted that challenge and that was really a, a life, a game changer for me in the sense that I really learned, um, by heart, the mysteries of the rosary, which I didn't know before. And I also learned more about the virtues and fruits that are connected to the rosary. And so through that, I really, um, just came, grew to love the rosary and just became slowly healed and transformed in that time of prayer with the rosary. And so during that time I was invited on a pilgrimage to Medjugorje. Yes. And yeah. that <laughs> was, that was truly a time of deep, co- deeper conversion, that pilgrimage and a time of growing in, in our love for our lady. And so through that, um, 
when I came back from that, uh, a priest that was there with us told us that Our Lady is going to have a special mission for you when she sends you back. And I was like, oh, I wonder what that's going to be. <laughs> and shortly after that, a friend said to me, you need to really um, add some core strengthening into your exercise regimen because I have a very bad back. And I thought, well, I wonder if there's something out there that combines the prayers of the rosary with core strengthening so I could get the same benefits of running in the rosary. And there was nothing like that out there. I did a little research online. And just kind of in a in like this inner vision, the Holy Spirit, I just kind of conceived this idea of soul core. I didn't know exactly what it was, but I saw this grand vision of combining everything together. Wow. Really wow. Happened. Well, if you just joined us, this is we're talking with the Soul Core founders, Colleen Scariano and Deanne Miller, and we're going to take a short break, but we're going to come back and hear more about what Soul Core is and the benefits to you that can be to you. So stay tuned. The next Man Up West Power Lunch is Friday, September 13th at noon, St. Francis of Assisi Parish Hall. The topic is the Sacrament of Reconciliation, Rising Again to New Life with Monsignor Frank Bignano. Learn more about the Man Up West Power Lunch at iowacatholicradio.com. Thank you, Blessed Mary International, for their support of Iowa Catholic Radio. Everyone lives their life 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. How we use that time directly affects if our life will leave a significant impact or not. Each year, Blessman International leads Central Iowans on a 12-day, all-inclusive experience sharing the heart of Christ with children in South Africa. Teams are forming to do something significant in an African child's life. Learn more at BlessmanInternational.org. That's BlessmanInternational.org. Thank you to Golden Rule for their support of Iowa Catholic Radio. At Golden Rule Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling, we do our best to give back to our communities, our families, and you, our customers, whenever we can. It's just part of who we are and what we do. And now we have something brand new, 0% financing for up to five years on new qualifying furnaces and air conditioners. I'm Bobby from Golden Rule, and we obey the rules to live by. Not just one, but five Golden Rules every single time. You can believe we deliver respect, understanding, loyalty, expertise, and service every time you call. Go to GoldenRulePHC.com. The Society of St. Vincent de Paul's Friends of the Poor Walk, hosted by the Des Moines Area St. Elizabeth Conference, is Saturday, September 28th at Scott Ridge Nature Park in Carlisle. Learn more at fopwalk.org. St. Vincent de Paul's mission is to help those in need while increasing their faith and following the gospel teachings of Jesus Christ. Learn more about the Society of St. Vincent de Paul Friends of the Poor Walk at fopwalk.org. Thank you to Spec USA for their support of Iowa Catholic Radio. Spec USA, they make concrete comfortable. Is it time for a new roof? Then it could be time for you to get to know Bell Construction. Bell Construction is a roofing company entering its 30th year of business. They specialize in residential re-roofs, like commercial jobs, and have the experience to meet all of your roofing needs with personal service. With Bell Construction, the owner will come to your home or place of business in person to inspect and ensure the quality of work that you deserve. They pride themselves in working with you on a personal basis and making sure you are satisfied. Bell Construction, 515-963-4494. Well, welcome back. We're speaking with Soul Core founders Colleen Scariano and Deanna, Deanne Miller. Excuse me. And right before the break, Colleen sh- shared a little bit of the inspiration of a Soul Core. So Soul Core is a series of movements and core strengthening to praying the rosary. And we were just talking here the importance of core strength. And you were talking about how someone gave you that little tidbit of information, Colleen, how you needed to add core strength yes. to your running routine. Yes. So tell us a little bit how the core strength plays into this. Well, we want to. We can't reiterate enough that Soul Core really is prayer. It's a prayerful movement first and foremost, and we invite you into the different movements um, to unite body and soul in prayer. You know, we're created body and soul, and it's important that even the Catechism talks about we give full supplication to God in, in, in honoring both. And so the movements are very basic functional movements. Um, you know, just the we like to say sometimes the things you would do in sixth grade gym class, you know, lunges and squats and planks and just basic, very basic stretches. They're always just an invitation. Um, and it's really intended for you, for anyone who's participating, and even as leaders uh, for each of us, to remember the gift of our bodies, the miracle of each of our bodies. And it's not an external um, vanity it's an interior strengthening so the movements provide this opportunity to really grow stronger interiorly spiritually and physically and um, obviously honoring your body only doing what's feeling capable on any given day but the 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 movements are intended to help us um, 
to be fit instruments, to do God's will, whatever that is. And a fit instrument is going to look different for all of us, obviously. And so really, again, the prayers are the absolute main focus of Soul Corps and really pulling out the virtues of the mysteries so that we can grow in virtue and live our lives more virtuously in imitation of the Blessed Mother. Um, but the importance of the care of our body. You know, we are called to, um, you know, to take to nurture stewards. this temple, we are sure, the, you know, right. the temple of the Holy Spirit. I love that full integration. It's like the mind, body, and soul mm-hmm. all coming mm-hmm. together. And I think that was what's so powerful. And and when I walk away from doing the Soul Core, and I'll do them on my own. I do the online studio, which you can do on your oh, website, soulcore dot com. And I'll walk away. I'll have a. I'll be having a really bad day, and I'll maybe just go down and do one decade, and I'll walk away like completely transform calm down oh, relax and, and, and so and it, I so love, when when that, that when that happens i know colleen earlier was saying that she used to jog and say the rosary i'm more energized when i do that do you walk away from doing the soul core more energized i do yeah yeah because i i find that when my mental status is re-energized i'm energized throughout my whole body you don't even pay attention to the exercise when you're doing it mm-hmm. when i when i'm praying i should yeah. say and i'm exercising. Well, i think that prayer often, becomes yeah that the movement just becomes part of the prayer yeah mm-hmm. you know that's yeah. the beauty mm-hmm. over time it just becomes but you're so right the integration of body mind and soul are so um you know god created that all to work in this integrated way and so when we're nourishing each one of those really then we're really becoming we're able to become more fully who we're created to be you know even in small little ways as we do that so now this might be a a naughty word but is it like yoga well that's a great question it is not actually it's a movement all its own and um it's it's fully christ-centered and um so the exercises again are just very basic functional movements and those can vary we actually even offer chair workouts and pregnancy. so-called for pregnancy yeah. so-called for kids but we don't know. include any yoga poses or any sanskrit which would be tied to yoga that makes and, me feel yeah. good yeah. and it's really a totally opposite um philosophy to a soul core you know um eastern meditation would be based on um emptying the mind just being open to anything coming in but but christian meditation and certainly the rosary is focused on the life of christ and filling up our mind with with the life mm-hmm. of christ and our blessed mother Mm. What's really beautiful about it is when you do you do a little meditation, the leader does before each rosary decade, and that's really um, inspiring. It just kind of you're laying there and you're just meditating, and you're taking that all in. So, mm-hmm. well, we got to take a little break here, but we're talking with the Soul Core founders, Colleen Scariano and Deanne Miller, and we'll be back with more about Soul Core. Impoverished children break everyone's heart, but poverty seems like such a big problem. What can one person do to make a difference? For 17 years, Blessman International's passion has been to connect the resources of our donors with sustainable programs that impact the lives of impoverished children in South Africa. Our donors are feeding thousands of hungry children every week, providing basic water and sanitation for impoverished communities, and sharing the love of God in practical ways every day. Go to www.blessmaninternational.org and make your donation today. Is it time for a new roof? Then it could be time for you to get to know Bell Construction. Bell Construction is a roofing company entering its 30th year of business. They specialize in residential re-roofs, like commercial jobs, and have the experience to meet all of your roofing needs with personal service. With Bell Construction, the owner will come to your home or place of business in person to inspect and ensure the quality of work that you deserve. They pride themselves in working with you on a personal basis and making sure you are satisfied. Bell Construction, 515-963-4494. Thank you to Golden Rule for their support of Iowa Catholic Radio. At Golden Rule Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling, we do our best to give back to our communities, our families, and you, our customers, whenever we can. It's just part of who we are and what we do. And now we have something brand new. 0% financing for up to five years on new qualifying furnaces and air conditioners. I'm Bobby from Golden Rule, and we obey the rules to live by. Not just one, but five Golden Rules every single time. You can believe we deliver respect, understanding, loyalty, expertise, and service every time you call. Go to GoldenRulePHC.com. CTO provides tuition assistance for Catholic school students. This coming year, many more families will qualify for aid, particularly middle-income families who now need extra support to cover the rising costs of Catholic education, which means we need your help more than ever for our kids, for families, and to empower some of the best schools in Iowa. Want to help? Please donate online at ctoiowa.org. Let's do this for the kids and their future. Welcome back. We're glad you're here with us today. Talking with the Soul Core founders and 
Um, before the break, we were just talking about the benefits of soul core to the mind, body, and soul. But now we want to hear, because anytime you do these ministries, it's never just about what you're, the task at hand, right? God works with us in all different ways. So we want to hear about how it has changed you to personally, Deanne and Colleen. Colleen, you well, want to go first? I would, <laughs> say, I would say, you know, one of the um, really beautiful descriptions that Deanne and I love about the rosary is that it's slowly, praying the rosary slowly and imperceptibly transforms our hearts and our minds into the likeness of the heart and the mind of Jesus and the Blessed Mother. And I would say for sure that we both have received slowly and maybe imperceptible at times transformation in both heart and mind and really such a focus on the growth and virtue um, because the you know the rosary especially the fruits we're, we're so focused on the virtue and simply by praying the rosary we can grow in virtue. So it's really such a simple way to do that and I feel like that has happen in both of our lives in, in so many ways. But but I think another way that it's really transformed my heart is just drawing me into a deep relationship with the Blessed Mother. And um, how you said it earlier, just always really when we, we have that connection or are consecrated to Our Lady through the through consecrated to Jesus through Our Lady, that we really, you always feel her sense of protection, her intercession for you, even in very difficult and challenging moments in life. And so I feel like it's really brought me to a greater sense of that, a palpable sense of Mm. Our Lady's presence and and action in, in my own life. Yeah, I would agree a, a thousand percent. And I'm actually a convert to the faith. And so the rosary was not something that I grew up praying. Um, but when I converted, I would pray the rosary, but more so because I thought I was supposed to, not necessarily. Mm-hmm. I didn't understand the true beauty and, and transforming power, power, power and the virtues that are, you know, um, that Jesus calls us to live out by his example through each of the mysteries. And so uh, a huge transformation in that and just that awareness and just the beauty, the, the, the true power and, and you know, that cultivating that deep relationship with Mary uh, that continues to grow. I mean, that's, you know, she just, she's just so present. And um, just the awareness, too, that God just is, he just take, he meets us where we are, and he just takes us along, and Mary guides us, you know, takes us by the hand and guides us. And so that has been, it's a game changer. I mean, yeah. it just yeah. is. It you just know, is. It's, it's interesting because this is the changer. first time I've met both of you, and you both walk in, n- not kidding listeners, you'll see it if you come to happy hour tonight or to the ladies' luncheon. You both do have this beautiful joyful you glow do. about you yes. you walk yeah, in and there's yeah. this love that emanates yep. from both of you and so i'm not at all surprised that you are in cahoots with the blessed virgin <laughs> yeah. mary well, that, that is all her doing then. it's a good, it's a good spot to be in cahoots with the blessed mother yes. Yes. that's so a that good is, prayer really, word thank you for those gracious <laughs> gracious words um, yeah. Yeah. but also i would say the transformation in terms of body and soul combined is that it it's a we hope that Soul Corps is an instrument of helping people understand the gift of their bodies. Mm-hmm. And, um, again, we talked a little bit about that interior strengthening. And not so much an external, you know, how we look on the outside, but really more that strengthening from the inside out. And mm-hmm. um, with great reverence for our body. Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. Soul Corps has helped us grow in that, too, in that awareness. You know, and I awareness. think a lot of times people forget, you know, the, the body is not bad. And, and you know, the body's going to stay here kind of yeah. is what they forget in the rest resurrection we get our bodies back and we're not just spirit we're not just body we're body and soul together that's what makes us human i know that's That's the beauty of that integration yes one of our favorite quotes is by saint john paul ii um in his works of the theology of the body that he says that that the body is the sacrament of the person and so you know in the sacraments we always have a physical representation Mm -hmm. of what's happening on the divine or spiritual an outward sign just like you know the 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 um, bread and water and wine are the physical signs that we see and you know to represent what's happening on the divine level so is soul core sacramental then <laughs> i i would say it is it could be a sacramental it is, yeah it is sacramental in the way that it's a, in reminding us of the sacredness of the body yeah. and the soul together our bodies. Yeah. and john st john paul ii also says that the body and only the body can make visible the invisible the yes. divine yes, yes. right yes. so we are called to present christ to others through our body and yeah. to glorify mm-hmm. him in that way and so Again, our hope is that Soul Corps is an avenue for that, for people to and, do that. And, and what I hear you saying is that women who have those body issues and body image issues can find healing in that yes. through Soul Corps. And in that moment, then they can be more Christ-like to others because that's that right. is behind them and healed. That's so, right. That's exactly that's right. right. And we all know, we you see such beauty in people who have just, um, especially people ha- who have a, a relationship with Mary, there's something about, you know, it, it's mm-hmm. almost 
not even um, tangible. But it's there's a joy. About it's it. a, there's, it's a, there's a joy. There's a joy yeah. that is indescribable, actually. And I want to say, Deanne, this is wonderful hearing it from you, who converted to the Catholic faith, to hear this wonderful joy and love for the mother, mm-hmm. because I know that's mm-hmm. kind of a mm-hmm. more of a sticking issue for a lot of people when they look mm-hmm. at the Catholic faith. So, sure. how beautiful you exude her love so well gosh this is such a great conversation ladies and we're going to have to come to a close here but thank you for joining us in the studio today we will see you later at the women's lunch and tonight at happy hour at sacred heart church thank you so much for having us it was a pleasure and there's more there's more to hear so be sure we just be sure to be a happy hour tonight scratch the surface and we we had a text from a listener who does the divine mercy soul core there's a Divine Mercy Soul uh, Corps, and she said when you do the push-ups, she goes, she's really praying for mercy. <laughs> <laughs> we are, too. I would be, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> Thank well, you, Ca- ladies. Catholic Women Now is grateful for the support of Mr. Haas, attorney at law. Mr. Haas is dedicated to providing personal and highly responsive legal services to people who have suffered an injury. 515-256-6301 or 888-338-6535. Will you take us out in prayer? Yes. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, we love you and we praise you and we thank you for the blessing of your Holy Mother, the way she comes to take care of us, for the blessing of the rosary. We praise you, Lord God, for the way you love us through the gift of movement in our bodies, Lord. And we thank you so much for the gift of Deanne and Colleen as they have come to share your ways with us today, Lord. We just ask that you be with them and be with all of us as we go out and act as tangible examples existence um, for you, Lord, in the world, that you may be glorified. May we continue to do this, Lord God, and reach and fulfill your plan. And we pray this in your holy son, Jesus' name. Amen. 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 This is the Catholic Women Now broadcast from the Mercy One studio. We just had a wonderful carathon last week. Thank you for all your generous donations, and it's not too late. You can still make a $30 a month pledge at 515-223-1150. Iowa Catholic Radio Rosary is prayed daily at 5.30 a.m., 9.30 a.m., and 9.30 p.m., and is up next. Now go do impossible things with God. Talking about the things that matter most to you. Today's Catholic Women. Catholic Women Now with Julie Nelson and Chris Magruder is underwritten by Fred Haas. Over 30 years helping injured Iowans recover losses from accidents and work-related injuries. Fred Double D, Haas Double A. And Farm Bureau agent Cindy Schulte, a licensed representative of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Iowa. CindySchulte.com. Catholic Women Now with Julie Nelson and Chris Magruder every Thursday at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. On the radio voice for Catholic Women Now. 1150 AM, 88.5 FM, and 94.5 FM, and on the Iowa Catholic Radio app, Iowa Catholic Radio. Radio.